Heiner says, nursing mnemonics plus nursing pharmacology ang ale ko sa iyo for today. Because we're gonna discuss morphine sulfate. If you wanna know more about that, stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nia Gavin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create my nursing educational videos to help nursing students with their studies. If that's something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you're already subscribed, though, thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my nursing educational videos two to three times in a week. Don't miss that. Subscribe now. Hit the notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that would really help me know that you like to see more contents like this. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. Hi nurses, another nursing drug study nga po ang ali ko sa inyo but this time we're gonna do it differently. Nursing study, nursing pharmacology, and nursing mnemonics. Pagahaluin natin yan ngayon. At ang tatalakayin natin ay yung morphine sulfate. I'm gonna give you everything that you need to know when it comes to morphine sulfate administration. The action, the mnemonics, the side effects, and also the nursing response responsibilities. In order for me to do that, I'll need to switch back to my PC and I'll see you guys in a bit. Hi everybody, welcome to our formal discussion and your morphine. Yes, this is your nursing study guide, you guys. And this is another mnemonic say, under say, yung nursing pharmacology. Now, um, I decided to create this slide para meron kang guide sa pag-aaral mo ng mga side effects or uh, nursing responsibilities mo in regards to morphine administration sa iyong pasyente. Now, handa ka na. Let's begin. Now, I'm going to share to you our objectives for today. We're going to have the action of this medication, dose, the side effects of morphine, and nursing responsibilities. This is going to be very quick, you guys pang refresh lang at para lang merong kang reference sa pag-aaral mo ng morphine, okay? Now, let's start. In terms of action, ano nga bang action ng ating morphine? Alright, isa-isahin natin yan. Una, it reduces preload and afterload of the heart. Ano pa? Reduces anxiety, pain, and dysmia. Diba, remember, ang uh, morphine natin is binibigay for patient who's suffering from severe pain and sometimes for patient who's having dysmia and anxiety. What else? Reduces myocardial oxygen demand. So once again, these are the actions of your morphine sulfate. Alright, what are the dosing? Very simple, very simple you guys. The recommended doses IV is 1 to 5 milligrams. Again, that's 1 to 5 milligrams IV. Diba ang bilis lang? Ito na siya. Okay, mabilis na tayo. Side effects naman you guys. Now, morphine interacts with opioid receptor sites primarily in limbic system, thalamus, and the spinal cord. This interaction alters neurotransmitter release, altering perception of and tolerance for pain. If side effects occur, opioid rotation may be used for managing opioid-induced adverse effects. So, para mas lalo mo maintindihan itong side effects, ito po siya. Alright. Now, when you talk about your morphine side effects, I want you to remember the mnemonics. Morphine. Morphine. Hindi na tayo lalayo. Nandito na tayo. So, bawat letra nito morphine na to, may ibig sabihin yan, ha? Which, uh, actually, uh, is your side effects of morphine. Para mas madali siya. Okay, M4... Meiosis. Ano yung meiosis, you guys? Excessive constriction of the pupil of the eye or yung constriction ng pupils. Okay? Meiosis. Ano pa? O for out of it. Meaning sedated ang yung pasyente. Grogi ganyan. Antok na antok. Ganun siya. Ano pa? R for respiratory depression. Remember na ang pinaka... Um, Bago ka magbigay or ma-administer ng yung morphine sulfate, you need to check for your RR. Why? Because it can cause respiratory depression. This is an ultimate downer, you guys. So you really want to be mindful about checking the RR and the respiratory status of your patient prior of administering your morphine. What is your normal RR? 16 to 20. Okay, below 16, you don't want to give that morphine to your patient, okay? 
Ano pa? P for pneumonia or aspiration. Next, you have your H for hypotension. What did I tell you? It is a downer. It stimulates your parasympathetic effect. When you talk about your parasympathetic effect, everything goes down except for your GI and GU. Kaya nagkakaroon ng risk for aspiration din, you guys. Bakit? Kasi parasympathetic effect, if everything goes down except for GI and GU, means sabihin, apang yung GI, apang yung GU, GI, more secretions. Remember? Okay, ito siya. Now, you have your eye in frequency, constipation, urinary retention. What did I tell you? Ano pa? Nausea, nausea. And your E is emesis or what we call the action or process of vomiting, you guys. So once again, you guys, these are your mnemonics for the side effects of your morphine. I-brush up lang natin to ulit, ha? M, meiosis, O, out of it, or sedation, R, respiratory depression, P, for pneumonia or aspiration, H, hypotension, I, infrequency, sa constipation, sa bowel, urinary retention, and for nausea, and E, for emesis. Now, para mas lalong tumatak sa'yo ito, I want you to remember these things. Morphine interacts with opioid receptor sites, primarily in limbic system, thalamus, and spinal cord. This interaction alters the neurotransmitter release, altering perception of and tolerance for pain. What else? If side effects occur, opioid rotation may be used for managing opioid-induced adverse effects. Once again, you guys, these are the side effects and some important reminders with your morphine side effects. Mm, Paulit-ulit ako sa side effects. Okay. Last up, nursing responsibilities. Okay. Handa ka na? Umpisahan na natin to. Monitoring for side effects. Na ngayon, alam mo na kung ano yung side effects ng morphine mo. Tandaan mo lang yung mnemonics na morphine. You need to be really mindful with that medication. Once you notice some side effects, you might want to report that to your doctor, okay? Now, monitor for blood pressure. Why? Because nga, it can induce hypotension. You don't want that. Nausea. Nausea because once your patient feels nauseated, that means that your patient is manifesting uh, side effects. Nausea and vomiting can actually put the patient in risk for aspiration. You don't want that. Now, ano pa? Respiratory depression. I cannot emphasize the importance of checking or having a baseline RR and baseline respiratory status prior of administering your morphine. Remember, this is the ultimate downer, you guys, and you want to make sure that your patient's respiratory status is prior of administering or during the morphine um, therapy. You know what I mean? So, these are your nursing responsibilities when you administer um, a morphine sulfate to your patient. Alright, thank you so much you guys for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos. Let me know if you have other nursing topics that you want us to do. Put it down in the comment section below. If you haven't seen the other other nursing discussions that I did, I'll be putting it on the description box, the playlists, and dami nun. And also, doon sa icon button. Check that out. Show me some love. And I really want to grab this opportunity to thank you who's watching right now for supporting and liking my videos. Ma-appreciate ko po kung maisha-share mo itong videos na to para mas marami pang makaalam at mas marami pa rin matuto at ma-refresh. Okay? So, maraming maraming salamat po. We've been really, really growing and I wanna thank you for making my dreams come true. Maraming maraming salamat po ulit. Puro maraming salamat. Bakit ba? Alright, I'll see you again next time, nurses. You stay safe. Thank you so much you guys for watching. I hope you learned something. Help me grow my channel. You are already here. You might as well subscribe. Hashtag Team cool Talk. Give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends. Let me know what you guys think. You put them down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to check out the other playlists I created for you. We'll be putting the links on the description box. So simply click this icon button right here. Let's connect. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gabe. I'll see you again.